when I took an oath at the Central Intelligence Agency, uh, that oath was to protect the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. We are not authorized to do it, nor do we do it. What we do, we use lawful programs and tools on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans. No, sir. Uh, there was a story uh, that was run, I believe, last year, late last year, uh, that showed that we were sharing unminimized information, raw signals of violence, that included information on U.S. political figures, on judges, uh, on you know officials across the spectrum, private industry, private businesses, private individuals. Their private records were being shared en masse with Israel. This did not get a lot of play in the mainstream press in the in the. Uh, in, in the U.S. Uh, and the New York Times public editor later investigated this and went, why? This is a sort of incredible public importance. And there wasn't really a convincing answer. One of the editors who had previously sat on the warrantless wiretapping stories at the uh, LA Times, I believe, uh, also sat on this story, it got spiked. Uh, we also saw a story uh, last year reported in the Huffington Post uh, that found that the National Security Agency's documents reflected that they were intercepting, uh, collecting, and then planning to use uh, information on individuals' pornography viewing habits to discredit them in their communities uh, and in the public on the basis of the political views that they held. When I took an oath at the Central Intelligence Agency, uh, that oath was to protect the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. 